2021 Clovis Invitational. We are at Woodward Park in Fresno, California with Josh Turpin on the left, one of our runners from Dublin High School, and on the right, Chris Williams, a veteran coach from the school. First off, Josh, I'm going to start with you. This is a huge meet. It's an unofficial state preview meet. Yes, sir. How excited are you for this meet? Uh, I'm super excited. You know, um, actually, this is going to be my first like champion varsity race, whatever you want to call it, at Clovis. And, um, you know, last two years I ran JV and uh, frost off. And so to really get out here and uh, have a varsity experience, I'm super excited. And um, one of the things that uh, coaches have been talking about this season is, um, you know, don't call it a comeback because we've been here. And I think for Dublin, for our program, we want to go out here and show that we're one of the top dogs. You know, we can run with the best. We've kind of been getting snubbed on the rankings, we feel like. And so we just want to get our, uh, execute our race plan and, you know, show other teams that what we're made of. Outstanding. As far as this course, how much how much experience do you have on this course? I ran here once my freshman year, uh, once my sophomore year, and then I did show up as an alternate for state, but so about I think two times. Last question for you, possibly, is in this race also uh, it's almost unavoidable. You know, the, the elephant in the room is Newberry Park. How excited are you to go ahead and face this team that it's kind of the all-time team? I'm super pumped. I think. Um, you know, that's a team that everyone wants to stick to. They're like the team to beat. And um, I think our plan, you know, at the end of the day, we're just gonna do what we always do, just race. And um, I think we just wanna get, you know, like coach said, pulled by the vortex, just kind of get swept up by them and like have them carry us through, you know, fast time. Okay. Uh, Chris, as far as, first off, you know, in the springtime, you put on the Dublin Distance Fiesta, hugely popular meet very successful with track and field, but you guys really get rolling in the fall in cross country. Had a number of successful teams in recent years, including setting the NCS record on this very course. What are your thoughts with this year's team? How do you feel about getting back out there after COVID? And what do we look for this weekend? Um, I really, I don't want to jinx our guys. Um, I, but I think that we are going to be pretty close to being on par with our best team ever. I think that we've got a pretty good group uh, we've been very blessed to actually begin to push the last few races by Granada um, and a couple of meets, and I think that they kind of help us set up for some really big running here um, this weekend. I, I will say that um, with, with the deal with COVID, you know, I think that I, I don't know if I've ever seen a group more excited just to be here. Um, and I, whether we run fast or not, whether they're excited to run fast or not, I'm not sure. I know that we're excited to be here and just to be kind of in this situation, you know, as a team. You know, and not having anything get canceled again, like being here, I think that that's a, that's a big deal. And as far as um, what I'm hoping for tomorrow, I mean, I, I think that we had one of the best workouts I think we've ever had uh, on Wednesday. And we do we do like some longer tempo stuff. And I mean, top to bottom, kids all hit the times. I mean, we were we were blessed in the fact that we finally got to run at 70 degrees and not 90 yeah. degrees, and uh, that was nice. Um, so, but I think that you know, all all everything's pointing towards a pretty good run this Saturday uh, tomorrow. Well, let me ask you this. Um, my concern entering the season for all the teams is the fact that this year's seniors were sophomores when we had our mm -hmm. first full season. So the, the real experience is probably not there for a lot of kids. Mm -hmm. What has been your approach or your mantra with these kids to get them focused in and confident as seniors with that you know year and a half lull to be ready? That's a great question. One of the things that we've really emphasized this year is in our training and also in the races is just worrying about ourselves. Being within ourselves, you know, and not getting caught up into who's racing, you know, what teams are out there. I mean I know you mentioned the ranked teams, but like don't get caught up into that. Pick specific spots in the races that we want to work on because you're right, they don't have that experience necessarily that could, you know, that they, they could bank on you know, do that. So we have to kind of almost hold their hands in the races. And every week we've kind of put on a little bit extra stuff in the workouts, a little bit extra mustard in the races. Like, okay, let's try to do this, let's try to do that. Um, because you ha it's a di much different approach than years because they don't have the experience. A lot of the kids, a lot of the kids in all programs don't have that kind of experience. So I think that for us, it's really been kind of just being within ourselves and not getting caught up into everything else with, with other teams, with other races and stuff like that. All right. Okay, so Josh Sherpin, Coach Chris Williams, getting ready for tomorrow. Oh, wait, one last question. Mm -hmm. So you're known for some, shall we say, racy outfits yes. on meet day. Yes. What can we expect tomorrow? Tomorrow will start to be the uh, 
preview of what's going to be outlaid throughout the season. It will not reach full capacity probably until we get to NCS. Uh, but tomorrow we'll start the layering of it and then as the, every meet progresses, uh, there will be another layer that gets added onto it. But by the time we get to the NCS state meet, it will be, it'll, I, I will have to say, it'll probably be my best combination yet. All right, Coach Chris Williams again, Dublin High School with Josh Turpin. So I saw this shirt before I interview you and it got my attention. What's the story with this very cool shirt? So we have a young lady on our campus uh, who ended up, uh, she wanted to, this is like when all the social justice stuff was happening uh, before last school year. Um, and she uh, fundraised money uh, to that where every student on our campus got the shirt for free. And we have over 3,500 kids on our campus. Every staff member, that includes custodial staff, everybody that's over another 200 people or so, that they got it for free. Um, and then the was funny thing was that the Golden State Warriors caught wind of this. Uh, they also got the shirts, and as part of like a little promo thing, like Coach Curry even was like talking about the shirt. It was one Dublin and the whole bit. Um, so it was a pretty cool uh, thing, but it's, we're definitely something that we're very proud of with our student body uh, for doing this themselves. It wasn't even the staff or faculty or anything. The students all did it together, and we're very proud of them uh, for doing that. So as far as, who's the student that was behind this? So Acacia Triplett is her name, and she's, she's in your class, and she's yeah. a senior, so she's graduating this year. But yeah, Acacia Triplett. Wow, amazing, amazing. Yep. Really cool. All right, this weekend, have fun. Thank you.